Hello there guys and welcome back to another Realism Rebuild and in today's episode we've got Real Madrid. So just a brief intro then into today's video. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we chose the team Real Madrid. I'm going to choose a completely different team. That way I have no influence on the transfers. We've got the Realism mod installed. We're going to let the Realism mod and the AI work together and sign players for Real Madrid. We're going to sim five seasons and see which players they have signed. But so then guys, if you end up enjoying today's video, please don't forget, leave a like down below and also leave some comments down below guys on other teams you'd like to see me do with this sort of experiment style with the Realism mod installed. And also as well, if you want to stay up to date with new videos like this, hit the red subscribe button down below. So here is then guys, Real Madrid start 11 when you do start off a brand new career mode. Now I'm pretty sure you guys, majority of you will know Real Madrid's team inside and out and all their players. Uh, but one thing to note as well, with the Realism mod, you've got to use an older squad file. And that is why players like Odegaard is still at the team. Uh, Vinicius Jr. is only 78 rated. So again, with this, the older squad file just means like, you know, like the players overalls when FIFA 21 just came out. That is pretty much that. Just before, you know, any other transfers happened in real life. So again... With this rebuild, I'm expected to see Ramos try and get replaced. Obviously, what is he now? 34 years of age. So, he stayed at the team somehow. By the end of this rebuild, he could be 39 years of age still at the club. You just never know. So, again, Real Madrid, pretty similar to Barcelona in the fact they've got a lot of older players at the club. So, it will be interesting to see what the Realism mod does to replace certain players in the team. And just to show you guys then as well that we have got the Realism mod installed on this save. You can see here we can go over now. We've got an injury list. So we'll also edit kit numbers in this sort of different layout here as well. And I'll show you guys the transfer budget that Real Madrid would start off with, which is 60 million guys. But again, they got loads in the wage. So you can literally move it all over the other way. And you've still got a ridiculous amount of money to spend. Well, let's go ahead then, guys. Let's back out of this career mode, start a new one with a completely different team. Let's sim five seasons with this mod installed and see what team comes out at the end of it. So here we are then, guys, July 2025. Let's go ahead right now. I've gone ahead and applied for the Real Madrid manager role. So as you guys can see, we're going to go ahead right now, take the job and see what team does away. So here we are then, guys. We're at Real Madrid right now, five seasons in. Let's take a look at this team, what you guys all been waiting for. Let's have a C and wow. Okay, Richarlison starting up front. CH in midfield. Odegaard still at the club. Samuel Untiti in the centre back position and Courtois still in goal. Let's just get straight into this. So Vinicius Jr., 93 rated guys. Wow. Okay, so you definitely put a lot of trust in him. Eden Hazard still at the club. Isco still at the club here. They obviously got a few youth players coming through as well. This guy didn't look too bad, let's be honest here. Um, but Gabriel Jesus at the club as well. Uh, any other big standout players? Okay, Harvey Barnes at the club. Not a bad signing at all, Harvey Barnes. Um, anyone else? Anyone else? Luis Alberto, 82 rated now though, so I'm guessing, yeah, 32 years of age. He's getting on a little bit right now. Fernandez, not too sure who this guy is, but again, 85 rated, 26 years of age, approaching his prime, 5 foot 5 Uruguay. Okay, never really heard of him. And okay, that is going to be it for this team. There's a lot of players in here, guys, who I did not expect. And one of them being Richarlison up front. And wow, okay, what a signing. 88 rated. He is in his prime right now, 28 years of age. And okay, guys, what do you guys think so far of this team? And mental, absolutely mental. Again, Ziyech in midfield. Didn't really take a look at him. This guy at centre-back, though, must be a youth player that's come through. Or just a free agent, maybe. Or I'm not too sure. He's 33, though. Okay, we have Luis Felipe that we can play at centre-back. He's 85 rated. So him and Umtiti. So again, Umtiti, surprise signing. 31 years of age. He's joined Real Madrid. Mendy still at the club as well, and Couture still at the club. They haven't signed any other goalkeepers. They've kept him at the club. So here you guys can see then, I've gone ahead and put what I think is the strongest starting eleven together. So again, there hasn't really been any changes to the first team, let's be honest. It was strong as it was, and he moved further and further down the reserves. And there's so many players here I didn't even know, like Pellegrini. He just seemed to have popped out of nowhere. I didn't even know he signed him. Um, but again, like I said, I think this is the strongest Real Madrid team I can do with the players. Now, ideally, I would have Pellegrini playing at CDM just for the higher overall. He does say he can play there, but when I play him there, he just gets a minus five, guys. And there's nothing I can do about that. He still gets it either way. So, I think we'll go back to what we had. So, yeah, again, I think this is the strongest team. Some amazing signings in here. You guys have to let me know down below in the comments what you rate this team out of 10. Like I say, in that, in that Barcelona one we did, again, it was a little bit questionable. A few older players signed in there, but Real Madrid this in this one, I've just really gone ahead and developed a really, really good team. And again, not only have they developed Vinicius Jr., 
They've kept some of the older players in here as well, like Couture, like Casemiro into the team. Odegaard developed here as well. Uh, Asensio still at the club and obviously some other players as well. So, what we're going to do right now, guys, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to sim to the end of this season and just see what this team can win. So, let's go ahead then, guys. Now we have simmed to the end of this season. Let's take a look at Real Madrid. And with the team that they managed to build over the five seasons, did they manage to win anything in this one season? So, let's go ahead. Let's check out the, I think, let's check out La Liga first, then we'll work our way down. So La Liga finished in third place. Wow, okay, quite a way behind Atletico and Barcelona there on 84 points. Eight losses this season, not too great, I've got to be honest, guys. Atletico winning La Liga. Um, let's move down now, Supercopa, and okay, Real Betis actually winning in the final. Real Madrid getting knocked out in the semi-finals, only 1-0. So Atletico Madrid, obviously Madrid rivals. Uh, Copa del Rey, come on, we got to win. What? Lost in the final of that as well. So Atletico Madrid semi-finals beating Sevilla, but losing in the final, guys. Okay, so that's three competitions. Not been able to win one of them, surely. Surely the Champions League. Wait, Super Cup, was we involved in that? I and mean, we wasn't involved in that. It was Dortmund and Sporting. Come on, Champions League, surely. Come on. Wow. Okay, we're not even in the final. Lazio taking on Manchester United. Okay, not in the semi-finals either. Hertha Berlin in the semi-finals. In the quarter-finals, not even in the quarters. Round of 16, come on. Okay, so we made it out of the group. So we got knocked out in the round of 16 to Manchester United, beating us 5-3 over the two legs, guys. Wow, okay, so out of the four trophies that was available, we haven't won any. We haven't won anything this season, even though Real Madrid have built this amazing team that it looks like. Um, in the group stage, we had Spurs, Club Bruges, and okay, we made it second out of the group. Got to be honest, expected them to finish first. Um, but wow, just just surprised, guys. Really, really surprised. So if it's getting knocked out then of every competition, guys, not winning a single one. Let's sort of check the top scorers for each competition and just see how we did. So we came second place here, Lulo, with 29 goals in 38 matches. Lulo, why is Richarlison not being the one to smash him into the back of the net? Who the hell's Lulo? Is he the guy on the bench we seen? Okay, he's not on the bench. Is he on the reserves? Lulo? Has he left the club? Lulo, here he is. He does look like a good player. Don't get me wrong. 80 rated though. Surely Richarlison should have been playing ahead of him. Unless Richarlison got injured. Uh, there's something I wouldn't know about. Uh, let's carry on down. Let's have a see now. Supercopa didn't manage to score a single goal. Copa del Rey. Lulo again. So, okay. You've got Asensio there with three goals in five games. Champions League, do we have any top scorers here? Lulo, once again, six goals in eight matches. So, I don't know what's gone on, gone on here. I'm guessing Richarlison has been injured somewhere along the line. Um, because there's no reason why he shouldn't be playing instead of Lulo. But I'm going to guess that's maybe the reason that Real Madrid just haven't been able to get through in any of these finals. Uh, you know, win any of these finals in any of these competitions. But there we go then, guys. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And like I say, it's a shame that this Real Madrid team just couldn't win anything this season. I'm not sure why. Because when you've got a front three of Vinicius Jr., Richarlison and Asensio, and the overalls they are, you should be, you know, banging plenty of goals in. And you know what? you got Gabriel Jesus on a bench, Brahim... Harvey Barnes on the bench as well. Another great signing. I'm very surprised that I didn't see some of these other players on the top scorers as well. Uh, moving on into the midfield. If I was Real Madrid, I would have done, would have done just a little bit better of a job of replacing a CDM role. Because as you can see, Casemiro injured at the moment. Also gone down now to 79 rating. So I think they should have definitely replaced him a little bit more. Or at least maybe developed Pellegrini into a CDM. Because it does say you can play CDM. Like I say, you play him there, he gets a minus five. So I would have maybe put a development plan on him to get him into a CDM role because I think he could have maybe developed and, you know, been a good CDM for the club. Uh, the back line, to be fair, not much of a problem. You haven't really replaced Sergio Ramos, if I'm going to be honest. Um, Umtiti, pretty bizarre signing, if I'm going to be honest. I expected, you know, maybe a Pau Torres, a Jules Kunde in this sort of position. Uh, but nowhere to be seen. And I also think as well the goalkeeper position, Couture, I think, you know what, how old is he now? 34 years of age. I think as soon as he started to decline, I would have maybe brought in a new goalkeeper. But you guys, let me know down below what you rate this team out of 10. But there we go then, guys. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, please don't forget, leave a like down below on the video if you want to see more of these. And also, don't forget, leave a comment as well on what other teams you guys would want to see me do. I did see another comment on the last episode about doing Manchester City. I'll definitely look at doing them next. And like I said, guys, if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this.